The C23 Nation has spoken. A shout out to everybody who took the moment to drop a comment on the video or reach out to me on Twitter or any form of other social media. Hey, I'm at C23Games, by the way, on Twitter. If you guys want to follow me, that's where you can go to find me because I'm always on there talking about some update with the channel or other sports shenanigans. So you guys can check me out there if you want. But shout out once again to everybody who dropped a comment on the video. I loaded up YouTube yesterday just to check out the comments and see how everything was going. And I had about 100 responses in like three or four hours. You guys are just amazing for the support. So check it out. We're going to jump right into this. And I know you guys got a lot of things to do today. So I'm going to try to get you out of here in about five or six minutes. One of the main players that I asked you guys about yesterday was Flash Gordon. And a lot of you guys responded in the same way that I thought you would. A lot of you guys gave me the thumbs up. So we're going to try to make this move. Now, a fair deal for Gordon would be 14.5 over three years we're gonna try to bump that up a little bit we're gonna give him a little bit more than he's asking for because just take a look at his specs he's ready to do some real damage out there on the field that 91 speed 90 acceleration 81 catch in traffic and 86 spec catch not to mention that he's 6'3 225 i mean come on that's just a beast of a wide receiver right there so we're gonna offer him a deal worth 16.6 .6 million over three years i already came into this expecting to pay a little bit more for him so i'm not too worried about it plus our offer gave us the top bid so we do have the inside track at signing Josh Gordon. Now the next player that we're going to take a look at is Dre Kirkpatrick. He was a subscriber favorite in the comment section so I had to take a look at him. Looking at his specs though I wasn't really too thrilled at his speed but you know what I'm looking at all the other player attributes and for the exception of man coverage he should come in and be an upgrade instantly over Robert Offer. So what we're going to do is we're going to offer him a 16 million dollar deal even though a fair deal would have been like 14 mil or something like that but as you can see our offer once again puts us at the top slot there. So our next position that we're going to address here is a pretty huge need as you can see we have no right guards on the roster so the targets here are going to be either Earl Watford or John Osamoa and looking at Watford that pass block is terrifying to me 74 overall I believe Chris Chester had like a 72 or 74 overall pass block in, and it pretty much got Matt Ryan killed so what we're going to do is go in a different direction and go with John Osamoa we're going to bring back a former Falcon his pass block is much stronger his run block isn't quite where I want it to be but he is right in the middle of Alex Mack and Ryan Schrader so hopefully that helps and plus, we got Patrick DeMarco to run behind as well, so we'll figure something out. And it looks like nobody else has targeted him either, so we might just win that one by default. Now, on to Mingo. Barcavius Mingo. A lot of you guys really thought I should target this guy. And to be honest with you, I have no experience with him whatsoever. You guys told me this man is a beast, so I believe you. We're going to go on ahead and toss him a deal, and it looks like that makes us the front runner to sign him, so we'll see what happens there. Now, I also needed to pick up a kicker. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the prior video, but I have no kickers on the roster at the moment. So we're gonna try to target Cody Parkey right here. His 94 kick power and 90 accuracy should get the job done. So we're gonna toss him a deal and hopefully he decides on the Falcons over the Raiders because I really don't wanna spend that much money on a kicker. I think I only tossed him about 660K. Now, another popular pick in the comment section from you guys is Dominique Easley. I've got no familiarity with the player, but taking a look at his stats, he looks like a pretty good, strong, young D tackle. So I think you guys might have been right on the money with this one. Of course, we're going to see how he plays on the field should he sign with us. But looking at him on paper, you guys, I like what I see. So that was a good call there, I think. So I think that all but wraps up stage one of free agent biddings. Taking a quick look at the recap, we targeted quite a few players. I really didn't expect to be this aggressive going into free agency. But just a quick rundown, we went after John Asamoa, Bacarvius Mingo, Josh Gordon, Dre Kirkpatrick, and Dominic easily we still got a little bit of cap room to play around with so i think we should probably target one or two more players in the next few stages so the first wave of free agency is in the books let's see who agreed to terms we got drake kirkpatrick josh gordon john asamoa and Dominique Easley. They all accepted their contract, so we had a pretty productive first day. The only player that did not agree to their contract was Barcavius Mingo for some reason, and I guess he just thought that the deal with the Arizona Cardinals was a better fit. Now, like I said earlier, we still got a little bit of cap room that we can play around with, so we're going to hop back into free agency and see if we can pick up at least a couple more players. We still need a tight end to play opposite Austin Hooper, and I think Vernon Davis could be the guy here, especially if we can get him for cheap. I'm not going to give him what he's asking for. He wants a two-year 8.6 $6 million dollar deal we're going to bring that down to 7.2 and if he agrees to terms it's likely just going to be a stopgap situation until i can pick up somebody better now it does look like the cardinals increased their offer just a little bit if i remember correctly 84 was the lead for mingo but somehow they were able to increase their offer without me getting a chance to counter so they ended up signing mingo and i did give it a shot you guys you can't fault me for not trying 
So now we're just searching for depth and I'm hoping that I can come across another one of these hidden jewels like Courtney Upshaw. And I think that the former Falcon Schofield might help me out there, giving me a little bit more in the pass rush. He's just about got an 80 finesse move. Yeah, I'm gonna round up a little bit there. Combine that with an 81 pursuit, 80 hit power and 80 block shedding. I think we might have something there. I don't wanna be too premature on it here, but if this works out the way that I think it should, we could finally have a consistent pass rush, you guys. And if it doesn't work out, it's really not that big of a deal because check out the contract that I'm offering him. There's basically no signing bonus and I'm giving him about a million dollars a year. So it's pretty much gonna be a win-win situation either way. So we'll see how it plays out. And another crazy thing that I wanted to point out to you guys really quick, I was taking a quick look at D-Ware's numbers and comparing them to Schofield's. For the exception of play rec and power moves, they're a pretty close comparison, you guys. So if Sko ends up signing the contract with us, we may have just acquired a cheaper and younger version of Demarcus Ware. Now, another position that we needed to address is our backup middle linebacker spot. And I was gonna wait for the draft initially until I found this guy. If you can remember back to last season, we had Philip Wheeler as our backup middle linebacker. So you can think of Emmanuel Acho right here as a better, faster, better tackling version of Philip Wheeler. And I can hear a lot of you Madden GMs out there thinking right now, why don't you just wait to the draft to build linebacker depth or to grab this guy or that guy? Personally, I think the draft is not gonna fall my way. You guys have to remember that I'm picking 32nd overall. So a lot of my picks are probably gonna be considered reaching because I'm gonna have to try to get the guys at least a full round ahead, but we'll end up covering all the draft stuff in the next video. So we were able to pick up our backup middle linebacker, Emmanuel Acho, and we were able to pick up Schofield on a really cheap deal. I'm surprised he took that offer right there, but I'm not gonna complain. And like I said, that could be a really huge steal in free agency. So I think we're about ready to close the books on this free agency period. So here's a quick rundown of everything that happened. First and foremost, we gave our right tackle, Ryan Schrader, the franchise tag. We picked up Kirkpatrick, Gordon, and Asamoah. We added Dominic Easley and Vernon Davis, as well as adding some middle linebacker depth in Emmanuel Acho and getting a backup outside linebacker slash pass rusher in O'Brien Schofield. So just like I told you guys during the season, you can expect our team to look very different going into season two. And you can slowly start to see the plan beginning to come to fruition. And you guys have no idea how excited I am to actually have another receiver to throw to besides Julio. I think picking up Josh Gordon was a huge acquisition for us. And on defense, definitely adding easily down in the trenches. He's gonna pair up with Grady Jarrett on the other side, who I'm expecting to have a big year this season. And hopefully they can just dominate and eat offensive linemen for breakfast. And oh, I almost completely forgot about Kirk Patrick. Patrick. He should come in and be the day one starter opposite True. And on top of that, besides the speed, he should be an instant upgrade over what we have with Robert Alford. So that should be a pretty good pickup for us too. So there you have it, you guys. This is what the squad looks like going into the draft. Hopefully everything works out for me and I'm able to pick up a superstar or two in the draft. But knowing my luck, I'm probably just going to miss on every single pick. But we'll see what happens. I'll have that video for you guys next. Anyways, that's my time. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off and I'll see you in the next video.